Today I decided to make my own character inspired by the Tim Burton style. I just brought together aspects of his characters that I liked and brought them into my own. So this tutorial wasn't a million hours long, I've already covered my eyebrows, applied foundation, concealer and powder, and I've added some black contact lenses. So I'm first going to start with the eyebrows, and if you're worried about not getting them even, you can use an eyebrow template as a guide. I went ahead and just used a white pencil first just to map out the general shape that I wanted. His characters always look so sad, so I brought up the start of the eyebrow a little, like this. Then once you've got the general shape, just go over them with either a black liner or a black face paint. Next, just clean up any wobbly edges, and if you've used a gel liner like I have, you'll want to set in place with a black eyeshadow. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking this kind of greyish taupe colour and applying it around the eyes. Ignore the bit directly underneath the eye, as we're going to fill this in later. Also ignore the lid space, as this is going to help make the eyes appear bigger. Then I just took a fluffy brush with some more of the same colour on and just blended it out further to create these big rings around the eyes. Then just go over what you've just done with a black eyeshadow, but focus mainly on the inside of the circle this time, closer to the eyes. You want the edges to remain that muted, beigey grey colour. Dust off the brush or just get a new one and then just go over the edges so everything is nicely blended together. I realised when editing that I've gone about things a funny way here. I don't know why I decided to line my eyes with white eyeliner right now, but I did, so go ahead and do that. Um, I pay more attention to the bottom of the eyes in a minute, but then line across the lid and flick it out ever so slightly at the edge. To create the illusion of big cartoon like eyes, I applied some black eyeshadow underneath the gap we left at the beginning. This is now going to be our new lower lash line. Then I just filled in the space with a white eyeliner to make the whites of my eyes look bigger. Now for lashes, you want to find a really big dramatic pair. I decided to wear two. While this first pair is drying, I went on to draw the bottom lashes. You could use fake ones on the bottom too, but I don't really like how they feel on the delicate skin underneath my eyes, so I just used liner and drew on these big doll-like lashes. I went ahead and applied a second layer of lashes on top, and while they were drying I drew on these really cute freckles on my cheeks. Next I made my cupid's bow look really rounded, almost like the top of a love heart, which obviously inspired by the queen of hearts and then I just lined the centre of the bottom lip. I applied this incredible blue lipstick from Milamasca on the centre of my lip because I just thought it looked really quirky and it's a really fun colour to use. I decided to take the taupe colour and contour my cheeks with it just to pick up that kind of contoured shade in the rest of my face as well so it wasn't just on the eyes and I also took a tiny bit underneath my lip to make them look even more pouty. Finally I applied some mascara to the lashes and then that's the makeup done. I thought the character I created was kind of cute looking, so I decided to put my hair up in pigtails to add to that. But obviously it needed to be crazy looking, and I kind of wanted to go with the Edward Scissorhands vibe, so I backcombed them and just sprayed them with hairspray. As always, there's links to everything in the description, and thank you for watching.